Hey guys, and welcome back to Auction Not Included. Clay's Amazing Space Conner Simulator Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and we are back in the Rock Full of Brains, a collection of asteroids out in the wilds of space. And finally, after many, many cycles of gathering materials, we are ready to start working on our research reactor here. We're going to start throwing in a whole bunch of uranium. We're going to split the atom and make things go weird. But I think the first thing we need to do is start arranging for this place. Spitzer, you doing all right, mate? You look like you've taken a bit of a beating. I don't even know where from. I assume over here somehow. This is where the poke shells do reside. And this is where we keep their babies. And if there's a, an adult around the baby, they get a little bit handsy. So maybe it was that. I've got a bunch of plans laid out here. Don't like them. Don't like them. We're, we're, we're going to get rid of that. Because I wanted to try and put the research reactor somewhere near this wall. And the way that I had it laid out, that was never going to fit. So I'm just going to throw that right there. And then we're going to know exactly where we want to put stuff. If I uh, grab this, pull this over. We don't actually actually want it like this do we because it does spit out boiling hot materials we want to be able to drop it on the floor like that if I uh, arrange to have one of those there yeah may maybe like that. and then we we can have a well, mesh tile underneath here. Not not this one. Obviously not this one. Uh, B, thanks very much. We'll put a little steam turbine there. And then this will fall down, hit the floor. I wonder whether we can make more steam turbines on this side. This doesn't feel like the best plan, but I do wonder. I do wonder. This bit of neutronium here is going to make it awkward. Let's, let's try the more extreme version of what I just said. Let's uh, let's pop these down here. Let's get rid ooh, whoa, whoa, get rid of that. Uh, the, the problem is the council button is very, uh, very close to the vitals button. And I keep pressing it by accident. Uh, let's go radiation research reactor. Let's put it right up against this wall. There's many ways this could go very, very wrong. And uh, I'm wondering whether I want the center lined up with this liquid output here, this liquid vent, so that both the materials that get dropped out of the reactor and fresh liquid get dropped down into the center same place I think that might be a winner and then if I grab a bunch of steam turbines over on this side and we throw them over this way maybe we can make an access route up the side again that neutronium is gonna make it a little bit awkward but I think we, we might be able to do so uh, the other thing I need to do start pumping some of these liquids out of here I really really think we're just gonna have to dump it down into the uh it's not really a subsurface ocean, but man, it feels like one. We're going to throw it down here. Let's get some, uh, not refinement, some plumbing. Sorry, we'll go for a liquid vent. I could probably drop it from all the way up here, and it would still be fine. Yeah, that, that, that'll, that'll work out for us. I just want a liquid pipe that we're going to take all the way across. I'm literally going to go through the floor. You can't stop me, and we'll do it like that. Okay, great. Beautiful. Let's, uh, let's wait for Spitzer to go along and do all the jobs. Hopefully, he's going to get a good time somewhere along the line, though, because... Man, it's a lot of chlorine and stuff. Oh, incidentally, the bees. The bees have uh, very nearly got rid of all this uranium ore here. That's that's going to be good. I don't know how to deal with a bee infestation afterwards. Uh, because, of course, we've got new ones down here now. So we're going to have to get rid of these ones at some point. I uh, legitimately have no idea how. I don't know whether we need these tiles here. But you know what? I've got a feeling with all the building going on. Actually, let's um, cancel the buildings and instead let's put down a bunch of ladders and this will make sure that we can keep moving around well yes this does look like a lot of building to do we've also put in a bit of power line coming across to the pump so we can start getting rid of that what else are we going to do whilst they're doing that of course as always we're, we're moving magma we, we need to get i mean ideally i'd like to get down there and put those tiles in place there but i don't think that's going to happen and i was kind of expecting franklin to have already dug this out by now but as we've uh, stopped panicking them all uh, with the build orders up here and clearing this little area out that used to be full of magma now dropped down in the huge machine here oh look the copper is causing a little bit of an issue i wonder where we can get in and fix that probably not seems like danger turns out nobody wanted to do all the digging now that we've got the ladder exposed though franklin is second second on her list of jobs right now hopefully just after the toilet yeah construction dig and construction supply that's looking pretty good uh would have been nice to have the build actually in there at some point but it turns out we're not that far through the process right now i am also wondering whether franklin needs to stay on reversal we took her from pyaxlin uh, and we are 
started to work through the water a little bit here. When it was just the three, uh, just the four, sorry, uh, we were able to keep the water co kind of constant. But now that Franklin's been here breathing all the oxygen, would you believe, uh, it's been, uh, we've been, we've been running out. We've been running out. I don't know if there's anything else that I need to do. Maybe, maybe it was the fact that I've put all the grub, uh, grub fruit plants down. Suddenly we're uh, eating a bunch of water. Are we eating water? I don't know whether these take any water. Let's have a look. No, they don't. They're, this was not a thing we needed. That was kind of great. And indeed, I don't think I've got anything on this asteroid that produces water. We've just been slowly working through all the various pockets that have been around. And we're now, 1600 cycles later, starting to run out. I, th I think we've done well. I think we've done well. Why is this not working? Because this is the wrong temperature? Above 7? I don't know. I don't know whether we're trying to not freeze or refreeze. I don't even know why I've got that thermo sensor on there. Uh, okay, so that should be fine. Frankly, are you, are you digging now? So my plan is, of course to start pushing these tiles but building via the magics of corner building uh, and start building up and up and up I'm not sure what we're gonna do about this little pocket of stuff here but if we could squeeze it at least all the way up to this line here we'd be able to start dealing with uh, with the magma in nice ways I really don't know how we're gonna change this either this is an unreachable build so at some point we're gonna have to come down this way maybe like if we can do this and then deconstruct that one and replace this with a uh, with a build as well with a, a, a tile as well I don't know we're, we're gonna have to figure out how to start moving all of this magma around Oh, so rather than get on with what I consider to be the important build, Franklin has immediately started working on the stuff up here. I, you know what? I'm, I'm kind of okay with that. I wish she would have finished off doing that build. But yeah, I, th I think I'm okay with that because it's starting to put us in reach of these. So yeah, great, great. Franklin's not looking great though. I wonder if she's taken a little bit of damage. Possibly, possibly. Oh, what did you go find? A bit of sandstone. Why are we get? Wait, why are we getting sandstone? Where are you taking this to? I bet it's going somewhere silly, isn't it? Uh, we come down. Okay. Okay, well, it's going to there. Is we really making sandstone ladder? We're not making sandstone. We're making sandstone tiles. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I will probably allow this. It's not too hot sandstone. So, yeah, that, that that's fine. We'll just let you go through. Uh, whilst all that is going on, Irrigal, how are we doing? Terribly. Oh, well, at least got, we got these uh, these tiles put into place here. But And the ladders. Okay, so that's good. But no one's worked on any of the, the piping. This is kind of not what we want. Is obsidian just hard to find or something? Let's see what Spitzer's up to. He's moving around. Has he taken more damage? I don't know. We should probably throw him on a... Uh Oh, he's going, he's going. Throw him on a, um, a triage cot at some point. I think I think his jobs would go faster. Wait, do we not have a hospital over here? Have I ripped it down at some point? You know what? These two cots not being used. Let's 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 make this. You know, are we are we gonna make our first actual proper hospital here? I think I might. I think I might. And whilst we see the beginnings of a fledgling healthcare system coming to being, I would like to take this moment right here and thank the people that make sure I'm always fit and healthy. That's right, my patrons. Scroll up the screen right now. You will see a list of names. The list names of the guys and girls who have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my computer can move on into the future as comfortably as possible. I love what I do here almost as much as I love being fit and healthy. So from the very, very bottom of my heart, thank you. Thank you so much, guys. Okay, the last piece in place. Have we actually managed to make a hospital? We have made an actual hospital. Okay, beautiful. Spitzer, get yourself in there. I don't know whether this shine bug is going to cause troubles or not. Like, is Spitzer going to be like, I can't rest, it's too bright in here? Or is Spitzer going to be like, no, this is a lit workspace. Yeah, this is a lit workspace. All right, great. This will allow us to uh, to heal faster, I think. Let's have a look at our health. Uh, in the triage cot rest, we're going to get 50 per cycle. That's pretty cool. Wait, so why... Did we have 75 per cycle at the other place? Maybe, maybe because we've not been not been medicked yet. Here comes Chandra to do exactly that. Let's uh, let's wait for that bar to fill up. Hopefully, like the like, Wix lit workspace, right? This this should be even faster, even better. Let's see. Does does she say that this is the thing? Yes, 15% speed bonus. I have no idea whether we're actually getting a 15% speed bonus here or not. Balloon artist. I've never seen Chandra go around and give out balloons. Probably something to do with the fact that she is always taking damage from the bees. Uh, so now, if we have a look at Spitzer and the health, 75. All right. Nice, nice. That should be, like, visible to watch go up now, but rather than do that, I'm headed back to reverse, Lynn. Let's see how our little experiment... No, no, that's not going well. Okay, what about this? 
Okay, what have people been doing whilst I've been away? Where, where, where is Franklin? Let's, let's find her. She's the one that I uh, expect to go around and do all this business. Uh, she's been making stuff. All right, fine. I suppose we can make some stuff. Okay, I wonder whether this is going to work in our favour. Rutherford is really the only one that can go around and dig through Abyssalite. Uh, but Franklin is one of our builders. So if we get Rutherford to dig out... Oh, I, don't, I don't know whether that's going to be a thing we can do. Let's check, let's check not the skills, the priorities that he's got here. Uh, looking for Rutherford. I'd like his digs to be high. Wait, I was in the right place. This one here. I'd like his digs to be high, but his building to be not so high. Some, something like that. Maybe, maybe turn up the digging as much as the farming and ranching and then franklin your building is already high come along and come along and do these buildings for me that's that's what i really want to see but it doesn't look like that's going to happen it looks like rutherford has to do both parts himself not not a fan if i'm to be honest not a fan because he's also going to have to be the one that comes along and does these bits over here as well okay oh actually have we have we got that situation no boar boar is coming along to the okay fine i suppose <laughs> We've got some very, very hot gases here, though. This this, this is a problem. This is a problem. We've just exposed this area out. Is it the Abyssalite? I don't know, but it's up to 200 degrees in there already. That is terrible. We, like, we kind of knew this was going to be a problem, but is it, is it this stuff here? Is it really this Abyssalite here? Uh, one, two, three. Yeah, that these ones. Okay, maybe I'm going to go ahead and do this as well. We know this to be a thing. We can, we can make it work. Oh, look at that. Even the bottom one here is too hot. That That's a shame. I wonder how this has happened. Uh, people tell me that even though the thermal conductivity is zero here, uh, actually, this is a bug. It, it, there's like a one off the end of all these zeros or something like that. There, there's, a, a, there's a very small number that the game rounds to zero when it's showing you it. So this because because there's a thousand times a very small number, we end up with a reasonable number, and that's a reasonable amount of temperature exchange oh man look at that we got a thousand no they're sorry 200 degree I, I keep doing that i keep reading the grams instead of the temperature Whew. okay but it's not it's still not good but it's better than that <laughs> Okay, end of the day, we've managed to contain all the heat, but ooh, it's 200 degrees in there. Okay, that, that should be fine. I mean, I, we could try and run a cooling line through here to keep everything nice and uh, nice and chilly for everyone. But, ah, sounds like work, doesn't it? Do, do we have a spare atmospheric suit just kicking around? Why is this all damaged? No, we couldn't have taken we couldn't have taken any um, wrong element damage. It must be temperature. Oh, it was temperature. I remember stuff all got spilt down here and things went wrong. There's supposed to be some petroleum in the floor. That's not helped. <laughs> Quick check in with Spitzer. Oh, he's nearly done. He's nearly done. Let's have a look at what his health is at the moment. 97 out of 100. So no one has actually come along to uh, uh, heal him, to treat the patient for a while. Compton is on his way. I've got a feeling the moment Compton turns up, Spitzer's going to be like, actually, bro, uh, I'm, I'm pretty good. We can actually just, like, jump up and do stuff now. Now? Any moment now. Compton's definitely not going to get this bar filled up before Spitzer's done, right? That that I feel like that's something that we can uh, we can agree on here. Wow. Three, uh, three and a bit thousand calories. That's nice. Health of a hundred. Spitzer, what are you doing? Compton, what are you doing? We're not, we're not waiting for you to finish. There we go. The treatment, are we? No. Good. Thankfully. The, incidentally, totally should have waited for the end of the treatment. This is how we build antibiotic resistant stuff. And now the pipe doth get laid. I've noticed that actually we're going to have a bit of trouble here. Let's uh, take away a few of these tiles and then everything else should be able to get built through the corner. If we take this one out, we can get down at this one and then take these two to get to the others. Okay, that's pretty good. Spitzer, where are you going now? It's like, I've got building materials to go get. Oh, actually, you're just building the liquid pipe. Okay, I, I suppose that's fine. Someone must have come around and made a whole bunch of deliveries while Spitzer was in the uh, in the hospital. That's rather nice of them, right? That was very... very very nice looking out for their friend like that. But you know what I'm going to do now? Everybody, I want everybody to come along and make this work because we have been waiting for far, far too long now. All right, that's already one of the tiles taken out. Two of that's so that's all of three tiles taken out. Beautiful, and uh, the appropriate amount of work is being done here. Ta-ta-ta time lapse. 
Okay, that's a day's worth of panic. There's normally some sort of pretty horrific cost associated with running the alarms for this long. Uh, maybe we were running out of food. Maybe someone needed the toilet. I definitely heard a scolding warning somewhere along the line. So let's see if anything bad has happened anywhere. Doesn't look like it. Okay, it must have just been some general hot stuff on pie, actually. We, 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 we had a, a hot petroleum spill up here a little while ago, and it's uh, it's still not cooled down, so may maybe it was that. Back on Irigao, I think Spitzer can just go along and finish up all these jobs now. The lack of gold is a, is a minor irritation here. I wonder... Oh, by, by the way, my aluminium volcano went dormant. Lol, always. Always just as I upgrade stuff. Uh, is this the... Uh, go Irigao, aluminium and eggshell. Can we send them some gold as well? That would be very helpful. Thank you. Look, there's the gold on the floor. That, that should have travelled at some point. Uh, I guess we're just about to fire another shot off here, though, so that, that will be fine. We've already got the majority of the rad bolts anyway, so that's all good. Wait, why is the eggshell going to Irigao? Let's turn that off. That's, that's, that's not a necessity there. Well, somehow the gold wire behind this rad bolt generator has worked its way up to... Uh, 829 degrees. That's that's hot. That's that's like real hot. Look at that. Wow. I wonder what happened. Did we melt something at some point? I don't remember melting anything at any point. Anyway, I forgot it takes 12 12 Sorry, it takes a whole cycle to make 12. We're, we're, we're way under that. I'm not going to sit here and wait for that, unfortunately. Uh, everything seems to be good now, apart from the, these two bits of, of metal here. Let, let's have a look. What else could we possibly replace it with? Do, I, I saw aluminium in the list. Do we actually have it? Oh, we got best part of two, maybe three tons. Okay, yeah, let's let's try that. Let's, uh, let's get rid of that wire. We're going to copy this wire out, and then it should give us... Yeah, aluminium straight on top. Look at that. Great. And with that wire in place, things are going to get pumped as soon as the liquid pipe gets, uh, the liquid vent gets attached. Okay, all right, there, we, we've got people on it, though. We have got people on it. Uh, unfortunately, Spitzer didn't take the uh, take the build order as he was swinging past there. Also, it's a shame we're not burning more hydrogen per second. We seem to be outpacing it. The three plants is enough to just keep spewing more hydrogen than one hydrogen generator can produce. And we, this is just wasted power at this point just wasted power but with the dropping of the alarm the liquids do flow i wonder why this one was a big one but the rest were not uh, i've also set up uh, more more orders across the top here it's time to start emptying this area out so we can then build the research reactor and and hope and really hope people don't immediately start trying to put uranium in there because that that would be a trouble Oh, Rutherford, you are in trouble, my friend. That is a very small amount of health you've got left. Okay, well, in good news, we're pushing the, the wall back a little bit further. Uh, and in other good news, Spitzer's coming along to make sure that the bees can get access to the very last of this uranium. Literally 58 kilograms left. Uh, that is down 10 kilograms from this morning when I had a look. So we, we're probably going to get through this in a couple of days. 54 kilograms. I'm putting holes in the floor to make sure that they can get their way through there. Uh, and then I don't know what we're going to do with the bees. Uh, maybe we could have just drop the water on them it's 20 degree water and these guys die at uh, anything above zero i believe let's have a look here yeah anything above zero they will um, just just perish but another thing that i was reading is if we have a look here uh where, where was it will not function if the ground below has been destroyed so maybe we'll just like dig the floor out when when they finished eating this entire blob of uranium it's the only one left in this room they they did it all they did it all of course, the bees are going up, taking the uranium, delivering it over to the beta hive, and then Chandra will come along and scoop out the enriched uranium that they've been making with it. It contains chlorine. I didn't know it contained chlorine. Why does it contain chlorine? I don't know, but it's making the area cold. I wonder, I wonder whether that's just what it does. It cools the chlorine down around it. I mean, that that's very interesting. With the smallest amount of uranium left down on this tiny little lump here, I've asked for a small little bypass to be put in on this water line here. I'm actually going to go ahead and completely cut this off for the moment. Maybe even get people to come along and do this at a slightly higher priority. I do believe Spitzer is coming along to do the job anyway. The real question is, do we have any aluminium ore for this? Compton and Chandra on the way anyway. 
But then when we start dropping water down here, hopefully, rather than just making a bunch of ice and snow, which is definitely a consideration that could happen, uh, we will actually be um, killing the bees. Yes, that's right. We're just, we're just dealing with the bee infestation, and the only way we know how, we are going to put pour like not boiling hot water but it's also not cold water it's 20 degree water for you and me that would be beautiful but for these bees that like to exist at zero degrees uh, that's that's scolding hot scolding scolding hot we also got the espresso machine and large liquid fuel tank research just finished off off there that is a beautiful Compton doing the job that we need okay great it's going to take a few seconds literally just a few seconds for the water to make its way down and through to the system here uh, water flows we've got as I say a little bit of ice being made but instantly the water everything is warming up so we're now down to water uh, again and let's have a look at the uh, the temperature minus 14 minus uh, 0 0.9 but it's also gone to 0 0.8 okay the temperature is being raised it's just gonna take a while are we are we making Oh, look at these temperatures here. It, th this is all warming up, but it's going to take a while, especially as we have, like, kilograms of snow and ice around. Okay, I think these beaters are going to have a bad time pretty quickly. Uh, the more extreme the temperature difference, the faster it changes. But as soon as these guys get down to zero, and I really do mean as soon as these guys get down to zero, maybe this guy will be the first one to get down there. Uh, 1.2.1. 1. The water is also spreading out as as well uh, but once they get down to zero they should unfortunately perish but we do we do need to get rid of them it's just staying at minus one that's kind of awkward what about you over here minus three minus two okay it's gonna it's gonna take some time but it will happen okay here we go minus uh just going into the pluses okay he's done for He's done for. Others should also start to do, do this. And then eventually, as these guys die from their very short life cycles of five... Oh, there, there go the others of five cycles. Uh, and then there are no beaters to replace. I do wonder when the hive is going to get warm. That That's my next question. So according to the database, yes indeed, this uh, this beta hive also has a livable range of minus 100 to zero degrees. Uh, and it turns out, yeah, that's, ju that's just happened. The next one, this has died. The next one is ready to go fairly shortly. We're exchanging temperatures around with a variety of materials out here. The obsidian is minus five, but as you can see, the temperature is going down as we're watching, and all of that temperature is coming from up here, from this water. It would have been nice to superheat the water on the way down, but uh, I guess this is what we're just living with, and it's really not gonna take long to kill all of them by the looks of it. And of course, the crucial question remains of what do we do with all this chlorine? I, I don't actually know. I don't, I, don't, I don't know what we're gonna do with all this chlorine. I think I need to move it over one. I think I need to, but we've been putting together a whole bunch of of stuff here where we're not on the right uh, filter there uh, and I've been trying to figure out how we can fit some steam turbines in next to the research reactor I'm gonna have to deconstruct a whole bunch of this not the fresh white tiles though uh, because we then need to um, try and figure out a way for our duplicates to get up through this way uh, and also have steam turbines here I, uh, I forgot that we we'd need one more room than, than we have one more tile than we have i've covered up one of the tiles there and there's no way to get a duplicate in and out without that being a big big problem uh so we're going to uh, move, move this all over one i think that's probably the only way that we can actually do it uh pop that one there this one here and then wait that's still wrong Okay, like like that instead, like that instead. I should be able to just drop some tiles down here. We're gonna probably have to figure out where this ladder's go. Maybe the ladder actually goes uh, up up this edge here. That that might be the way to do it. Uh, and then eventually we will actually get the research reactor in place. I was thinking that it might become a bit of an issue, uh, and it will. But I'm gonna put down this piece of steel automation wire so that the moment the uh, the research reactor is put in place it actually turns itself off man the neutronium sure has been an issue here but i think we can work around if you have a look we we can't we can't go through these tiles at all in any way we can't push push uh, pipes through there we can't do anything and of course more importantly we can't let a a, a duplicate walk up and round through it so we need to make sure there is a gap right here i've made a bit of a plan uh, there are eight 
steam turbines here. These steam turbines are going to be trying to keep this area at 125 degrees and the research reactor I think it's aiming for about 200, uh, 2,500. When it hits 2,500, it explodes. That'll be fun. So we're trying to, to avoid that. Whilst it is up and running, it will be dropping super hot liquid on the floor. And that's the thing that really is uh, going to cause us some issues. We'll be pumping water constantly in from one side. And hopefully uh, this water line here will be enough to deal with it. If not, we have other ideas of how to do this. But of course, there, there are plenty of things still to do, even just to get this in infrastructure set up here one of the first things we need to do of course is to put a liquid lock down here a couple of uh, little pools of petroleum i think will be good maybe quite a large area of vacuum in between uh, that way there will be no way for the heat to escape and uh, even if uh, something does flash into sour gas somehow something goes wrong and and that happens uh, then we'll be able to have a, a buffer with a double liquid lock the other thing of course is we need to cool down our steam turbine turbines uh, so if this research reactor is dropping super hot liquid down here that must mean this is the coolest area right that that that's what i'm gonna go with thermal aqua tuna i don't have any steel that's very awkward that that's that's incredibly awkward uh, f4 materials metals let's let's see what steel we've got around that we really don't why is this made out of wolframite that that's one of the things we need to change anyway i shall put the thermal aqua tuna there and we'll connect up all of this system uh, i've been putting down the gold pipes to be able to go but i didn't know which way i was going to connect it all up and together but now i do uh, i realize that actually we're going to be wanting to go up and down like this and maybe if we cut the here, here, and here. Uh, we'll be passing in, the, you know, come around and up, and then we'll so go up and down this way, up and down, up and down, and eventually this one will go up and around and then come down into the thermal aqua tuna here. Uh, it's really kind of annoying that I can't do that, uh, and, and then pass it back into the loop. So yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get on with all of that, try and figure out how we're gonna access around the outside and uh, deal, deal with all this hydrogen that the pips keep on spitting out. Okay, it says fuel delivery has been disabled. There's just a little spot of automatic wire back there and because there's no green signal being sent to it, it defaults to a bad signal. So the research reactor, when it gets built, should not be having any enriched uranium delivered to it, which of course would be the big a problem. I mean, it would be the big problem if it wasn't for a whole bunch of other problems that we're having right now, and one of which is the thermal aqua tuna and it is bringing me an emergency the like of which I did not anticipate. Spitzer, I was kind of hoping you could finish the research reactor by the time I did my uh, big reveal there. Okay, Spencer should hopefully be able to finish it. Turns out this was quite a big build. Research reactor, no liquid intake. We need to put some water in there. That's fine. We, 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 got, we got problems over here. And the big problem, the big problem is actually the fact that we have run out of coal. Uh, it was happening. It was slowly working away in the background. It was working its way down. Oh, man. Yeah, okay. We finally got some petroleum in place. Okay, that, that, that should definitely help. Uh, of course, there is a little bit of trouble that the, because there is no power, or at least very little power, the uh, the thermal aqua tuner here hasn't been able to cool down the liquids going through this uh, this thing. Oh, it was only 20 degrees last time I looked. Now it's 30 odd degrees. Uh, so uh, yeah, we, we, we need to address this and I cannot, I literally cannot, I can't let these guys through here. I don't, I don't know where Plank's going, but he needs to stop. Uh, I literally cannot just ignore this one for the moment. That That's not not going to be a winner unfortunately how do i stop them all getting out here and then because uh, the problem is i want them to to deal with things up here as well my plan is to bring some arbor acorns across from Irrigao. Uh, th this system here, it's big, it's clunky, it's in the way. It's not really working for this place because we're about to fire up the, uh, the research reactor. It is totally not needed, but it turns out uh, reversal in where it's been winding down on the amount of stone hatches we have. Though that, I've got to say, there's quite a few of them over here. Uh, and uh, these guys have not been eating quite as much igneous rock as they've been used to out of this machine. And indeed, we've been running a little bit 
low on it anyway. Uh, we've been uh, running out of coal that we've had. And indeed, well, after we put the two extra generators in, we were slowly eating through our reserves as well. I thought we had a little bit of time left, enough time to be able to finish the research reactor. And then, of course, uh, we could do this afterwards. But no, turns out I need to do this right now. But that is kind of fortuitous because I need to also seal this place up and pump it out. And uh, that, that pumping is gonna gonna take a fair bit of time. So uh, with that, I'm gonna say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you guys next time where I'm probably gonna be at the start of today because I have no idea what caused this. And uh, hey, let's let's just throw a save away, shall we? Uh, I, I wanna get our acorns over here and we're gonna do that from Irrigal, mainly because there are already a whole bunch of pips on board. We can ranch them up. We can then feed them the satin critter traps so that they can produce us plant meat, but more importantly, a whole bunch of hydrogen with which we can power our <laughs> emergency base. But I'll see you guys then when we're going to do that. Bye.